I'm Lisa Sanders, the Nurse Manager of Interventional Radiology, also known as Special Procedures. We will be demonstrating a timeout on one of our patients in our Interventional Radiology Department. This is the last step of the universal protocol to ensure that we are performing the correct procedure on the correct patient on the correct site and side. It is important, again, to verify their allergies, the time their preoperative antibiotic was infused, and to share any other pertinent information concerning our patient before we actually begin the procedure. Okay, can we turn the music down? Okay, is everybody ready? Let's uh, start the timeout. Okay, today we have Susie Smith and her date of birth is 5-18-59. Susie, can you tell us your name and date of birth? Susie Smith, 5-18-59. This is Susie Smith, date of birth 5-18-59. Per the consent, Dr. Schroeder will be performing a left nephroureteral stent placement. Dr. Schroeder, is this correct? Yeah, that's correct. Dr. Schroeder, is the left side marked and visible after draping? Yes, it is. Jason, is that correct? I agree. The patient is in the prone position. Dr. Schroeder, is that correct? Yep, that's correct. Jason, is that correct? I agree. Kelly, are the images displayed and visible? I have images here displaying the patient's left hydronephrosis. Dr. Schroeder, have you reviewed the films? Yes, they have. The patient is allergic to iodine and has been premedicated per protocol with prednisone and Benadryl, which was given at 10 a.m. ANSEF 1 gram is infusing with a start time of 10.30. Her INR this morning was 1.8 and she received two units of FFP. The INR now is 1.2. The patient will be medicated with fentanyl and Versed. Does anyone have any other pertinent information before we begin? I do not. I have heparinized saline, Visipig, and 2% lidocaine on the table also. Does everyone agree with this information? Yes. I agree. I agree. Timeout is complete. Please follow the standardized method of conducting timeout for all procedures to ensure patient safety. Notify your supervisor immediately if the procedure cannot be followed for any reason.